So on this slide, we talk about axioms of cohomology. So these axioms are entirely dual to the axioms of homology and uh, they are developed almost parallelly. So let us see what these axioms are. So just as in homology, we start with the CW complex X. And to the CW complex X, we get these cohomology groups. Yeah, and we also have a co-boundary condition for CW pairs X comma A. So this is the co-boundary condition. Yeah, we have seen such conditions before. This is this comes from the long exact sequence which we will draw in a bit. The important point to notice is that this H tilde N is nothing but a contravariant functor. Yeah, so what does that mean? I will just explain to you in axiom 1. So let us write down the three corresponding axioms for cohomology. Yeah, so these are again similar to what we wrote in homology. So if two maps f and g are homotopic, they go from x space x to y, then they give the same group homomorphism, but now the group homomorphism is between cohomology groups. Yeah, so this n which I have written as subscript should actually be superscript, yeah. So on the other side, so this n should be superscript. And now you can notice the contravariance from x to y. Instead of x to y, you go from y to x. So for a CW pair x comma a, we have a long exact sequence. So this is clear, we have drawn such a sequence before. The only thing to notice is that this Q star is nothing but the quotient map from X to X by A. As we know, a CW good pair is nothing but A is a subset of X. In fact, a neighborhood retract. And I is the inclusion map. Yeah, so all these details you can find on page 202 of Hatcher. Then we have the co-boundary map, which we have already drawn before. So I is inclusion map and Q is the quotient map. So part three is that if now X consists of these wedge products so x is nothing but a wedge sum and we have inclusion maps each of these components of the wedge sum go into x so we get the product map notice that in homology theory we had direct sum So this is an isomorphism for each n. Yeah, so we will give a reason why we get a direct product instead of a direct sum.
So that is because in the homomorphism the direct sum comes out as the product. Just let us first write this down that direct product is there in place of direct sum. Yeah, because we have to develop this dually to homology theory and that is precisely because of the reason this. When you apply home to it, direct sum inside Yeah, this becomes the direct product. Yeah, so you apply home to direct sum, you get a direct product. So one last clarification, I will just uh, delete the subscript and replace it with superscript here because this was a mistake in axiom 1. So this is a group homomorphism between cohomology groups.